Look, I just got off the phone with um, people in Memphis, uh, Kevin Money, cousin. I used to play ball with him, but basically he said that the reason why Moneybag Yo and them is apologizing is because they got Nooski because the person Maurice sold the chains to flexed them and that accidentally got Nooski popped. Because they was with Nooski. And they knew Nooski was the bigger guy. So they just got him because they couldn't get to that dude. And someone dropped Nooski off. Like someone had actually had his car. Like majority of the time. Yeah, so to this day, um, it's actually Big 30 is mad. Because first of all, somebody still got Nooski car that he let him borrow. And he just said, hey, drop me off. You could take my car, handle that. And by the time you done, just scoop me back. But see, Nooski never called him back to tell him to scoop. Because he got popped. So now somebody got Nooski car and they need to give it back so they could get it to his kids. And it's people that still owe Nooski money. He got one foot in the game and one foot out. That's why he's not a big artist like Big 30 yet. 30 was fronting him to go handle his customers that he used to have. And so, hey, Nooski, he just was riding around with the wrong people. And the guy that had his car that, um, you know, once they dropped him off, the guy that, that had his car, that's who was supposed to get got. Yeah. But they seen Nooski car get pulling up and leaving. And they thought they was finna catch the other dude. But by the time they realized once they fired the shots that that was Nooski and that Nooski got dropped off instead of the other way around. So that's why they was really supposed to get the other guy. And when he got hit, it's even more tragic. And the fact that the dude with the car, he probably gave the car to somebody else once he, you know, knew it was too hot to be riding around in a in a dead man car, basically. Yeah, you can't do that. And it's like everything that's going on, it's like a revolving door. Like they, like a lot of people want to change what's going on, but you got to understand, Dolph involved himself with a whole like group of people who realize like Key Glock on K, you feel me, money, you feel me? Um, everybody who with the whole PRE, you feel me, basically, like, he had them to protect him. He involved himself with them. They had, like, for example, Big Moochie Grape had something going on to the point where he was bragging, doing all this. He get his chain took. Next thing you know, Dolph involved. If Dolph would have never signed half these artists, he wouldn't be in the situation he in because he wanted them to protect him. Just like anybody, if you was in the hood and you was th the man that everybody looked up to, it, you, you know, you pass out dollars, everything. If you was that guy, man, like, you would really want people to, like, protect you, especially if you're paying them under the table. Like, yeah. you're paying them with the music and paying them under the table just for them being cool with you. You're supposed to be like protected at all times that's the only reason the ops was able to get up on them man it's been five years exactly and and they they over here being reckless and don't understand the fact that they targets because they got the chains on if you go somebody is into it with you you can't be walking around in the wrong hood with your chains on and everything like that and the reason they thought that they thought K Money Buddy was supposed to have his chain on and go to that studio in that neighborhood. But when they seen that car leave, they thought that was the passenger that got dropped off was the with the dude who still had one of the JoJo Splat chains from Big Moochie Grape. And they didn't know it was it was actually Nooski. And that they thought Nooski was driving the they thought Nooski was the one leaving and everything. And that they was all they was trying to do was catch the passenger with the chain that they had to get back. And they seen a dude with the chain, but it was the wrong dude. So all they seen was chain and baguettes. So they went to pop and they got it back. Cause won't either way, 
the chain was one of them ones. He had the chain on that the other guy was supposed to have. So something flip-flopped, man. And it's fishy because the dude that was with Nooski, the one that dropped him off, you got to look at him. Did he know any? I mean, this is allegedly. Allegedly, if Nooski got dropped off by dude, did dude know what was going to happen? Did he ask to switch drivers and make something up that he had to go do in order to get him caught up in this? So that's one way to look at it. And another way to look at it is that it's money, Nooski, money bag, yo, artist. So yeah. if you sign the money bag, yo, and money. You, and you saying that you're not, if you sign, look, if you friends with money bag, yo, but your cousin signed to money bag, yo, but you saying you don't mess with CMG, like, it's going to cause friction, man. It's going to cause conflict somewhere down the line because you hanging with us, but you saying you with your own like with you with your own brand. Like right. we get it. We understand the fact that you got your own label, but you ain't have to diss them like that. Next thing you know, you moving out of Memphis, money bag yo, packed up all his cars, put them on that truck, move move right out of Memphis. They said he moving somewhere close around, but man, ain't no telling, man, them cars was on semi trucks. He mm -hmm. moving out of state. He took that Benz, he, he, a uh, money bag, yo, he, I think he had a Range Rover in the Benz truck that he used in Gunna's music video, and that was, I, we seen that from the sources leaving the interstate, the one that go out the city, not the one coming, not, not the one coming in from the other way, the one that leave out the city, so he ready to go do, like, to ATL or something that way, and just because Nooski was friends and cousins with Big 30 and they all rapping, it just directly ties them in with Moneybag Yo, which makes them CMG. So once these dudes is trying to get that chain back and they see, hey, it's, they, it's CMG affiliated people in the territory. They don't care who it's going to be. And the thing is, is that it's a bounty on them chains. So it's not even PRE people that did that. It's mm -hmm. randoms. You do realize it's random people that are in the streets and they'll pick up the the bounty because they, mm -hmm. they just got that. They got to them first before somebody that was an op actually got to them. Yeah, that's the only way they're going to be put in place to even like go forth to even, you know, had the audacity to go and do that to dog. Right. That's the only reason dog got caught up. Like, you got to understand, man, it's always the inside man. It's always the person to tip them off. Always the person to tell what location. Man, it's getting old now. You got to understand, man. People need to really look at the simple fact that Dolph should have moved out of Memphis. Why didn't you move, man? And if Big 30 got so big and he got them records now, even a song with Gucci... Why ain't he moved him and Nooski out the hood? Why was they still in Memphis? Big 30 could have been in, in New York, L.A., Miami, anywhere. And Big 30 was <laughs> rocking more with Gucci side, but you know Gucci and Dolph was best friends. And Gucci and Big 30 got into it because Gucci wanted to sign Big 30. And then when Big 30 uh, f found out that he was going to be signed by Moneybag Yo, CMG affiliates, and he still posted Gucci on his IG. And Gucci replied in the comments saying, these dudes meet you one time and they and they act like you done been business partners. And they deriding and stuff. So Gucci was already saying back, back then, it was because of the picking sides that he was upset that he didn't. It's like, damn, bro, how you going to sign with the with CMG people when they always in the wrong? And you know that. You went from South Memphis and, and you Gucci know Dolph ops, people. Basically. Yeah. You know Gucci is Dolph people, but you is rocking your art, your whole Pooh Shiesty is signed to Gucci. And that means that Pooh Shiesty rock with Dolph. Because Gucci ain't finna let nobody around him who don't rock with each other. And you gotta understand, Nooski signed a money bag. Yo, that's too much of a connection to the ops. You playing both sides, man. And yeah. I'm saying R.I.P. to that man. 
But you playing both sides, man. You can't be over there on the ops porch while I'm in the studio with 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 your cousin. Exactly. So look, every, everybody got to get looked at. So it's not gonna be sweet, and we go, we ain't gonna say just because you so and so's cousin that you not in the mix. That puts you more in the mix because uh, you already knew who who you was getting involved with. And you knew the beef you, that was going on. You knew who was into it before you even signed to them people and you made a choice. You made a, you choose the side when you ain't even have to choose on side. You could stay independent, whatever, man. And at the end of the day, it ain't worth losing the people around you just because you you might be worried that if you finna stay in Memphis that you got to sign with CMG people. You shouldn't have been thinking that. You should have been thinking, I'm going to get out of Memphis, so it's smarter to sign with 1017 because they not even stationed in Memphis. You could go somewhere where you start a whole new chapter and run your own town if you wanted to. But Big 30 throwing songs with Gucci, knowing that his cousin signed to the ops. Gucci don't like money bag, yo. I mean, Gucci don't like money bag, yo. Gucci don't like Yo Gotti. Gucci, Yo Gotti, and Yo Gotti hit Gucci man, baby mama, Keisha. Yeah, and you they feel was, me? And they was fighting way back when Gucci before, and Jeezy was fighting. Before Dolph even got into it with Yo Gotti, Gucci was into it with Yo Gotti. And if you look at the facts, Yo Gotti and Gucci friends, so both of them into it with him. If you on Yo Gotti side, but you got some connection like your family member is with Gucci, that's the wrong decision to make because you playing both sides. You can't be cool with the ops. You can't. And at, at the end of the day, it came down to they made, they knew what they was getting into and still made the decision to sign be to around CMG. and sign around. So look, at the end of the day, though, none of that is, is, is going to go over our heads. We're going to look into all that and find that out that it could have been avoided they seen it from a mile away they knew what they was doing signing to these people and, and still staying in the memphis hood it was a ticking time bomb and unfortunately it had to be newski man and r.i.p to the man but we finna get on this next video we're gonna open up the can of worms on everything else